Hey there. Sorry here. Uh, sorry for the delay on this content, guys. But, um, you know, as, as we all know, the only content this week is Clash of Wills. And, uh, and you know, Gumi decided to break Clash of Wills uh, for the, the first 24 hours after maintenance. And, um, you know, maintenance for me, uh, maintenance usually ends for me like in the middle of, uh, you know, Thursday night, I'm usually asleep. So I usually wake up Friday morning and that's, that's when I kind of get to the week's content. Um, and obviously there was nothing to do Friday. And then, um, basically for the last couple of days over the weekend, I have been moving into a new house. So uh, a bit busy, haven't really had a whole lot of time to play the game over the weekend, but I did get in and get a, um, uh, level 99, no modifiers clear. I was able to do a first turn kill team uh, pretty easy all the way up to level 99. So I'm going to show you that team. That's the one that you see here. I'm also going to show you a, a three turn uh, kill strategy using a different team. Um, just to kind of show you guys a couple of different ways you can tackle this boss uh, at level 99 with no modifiers on. Uh, so for this, this clear, I'm just going to really quick mention um, the you only need to worry about gearing three of these units. That's um, Elena, uh, Tyvis, and 2B. Um, Elena, and, and honestly, a, a lot of these units are very, very swappable. Um, but you don't need to worry about gearing Dwayne, uh, Fina, or Kaito for this strategy because it's just a first turn kill strategy. And those three units are literally just here to do some support um, for you here. Dwayne is literally just here to do arcane stimulant so you can use any unit you want in that slot as long as they have arcane stimulant if you don't have any units with arcane stimulant that's units like uh, like other units would be chow barrel uh frosty um you, 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 if you don't have them you could use like Aerith, uh cetera just in the you could use flaring ether rain he has a similar skill um to to that to that arcane stimulant it's just for the buffs for the stat buffs, for the LB damage buff. That's all he's here for. I chose Dwayne because he is free in the cow shop. You can buy him for 300 or 3,000 drops, and then you can just slap him in your party as an easy turn one buffer. Uh, Fina, the return, she's not necessary. She's here for the bird killer. Um, and, and so you can see my, te my team is full EX3, um, and that's why I brought Fina the Return, because Kaito supplies the Dragon and Fairy Killer, and then Fina the Return supplies the Bird Killer, and we just slap the boss hard in the face with all three killers buffed. Um, the way I'm going to show you now is not going to, to assume that your team is full EX3, so you don't need to worry about that. If they're not full EX3, that's fine. But Fina is very swappable. You could take her out for a unit like... Um, like Rosa uh, or Ilmatel or Ihana who have like the Omni Killer. That's that's it, that's really nice when you have uh, a unit that can provide 100% Omni Killer to all three like that. So that's pretty useful. Rosa is also extra useful because she can do a 250 um, Dragon Killer, which is very, very nice. Um, and then Kaito is obviously here for breaks. He does the Light and Peril Field um, and he does the removal of the um, uh, the mitigations. The, the physical and magic mitigations on turn one. Um, so he he is probably swappable if you have someone like him that can do breaks and a perfect dispel um, and a light imperial field. You don't really need the light imperial field. It's just a little extra damage. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, you got some options there. Um, so I'm only going to show you the gear for Elena, Tyvis, and 2B. Um, Elena, we're just using their brave shift form. So just full on uh, spirit gear and then try and give her some killers. Um, if you don't have all this gear, you know, just do the best you, you can. She's really just like a, a secondary DPS unit here. She's just kind of, you know, doing a little bit extra damage to get you, make sure you kill the boss. She's not here bringing big boy damage, but it's nice because she wields great swords and she does triple bolting strike on her LB. Um, as per E-Spear card, hopefully you have that by now. Um, yeah, see, your killers aren't even max 200 fairy, 300 dragon, 225 avian. Full LB damage though, so that's good enough for rock and roll. Um, Tyvis is um, we're only worry about his brave shift form because that's where all of his his uh, his weapon and perils are. Um, you could do his his meteor ability, but I find it's it's actually a lot more consistent to do his um, either his LB or his um, evocation damage. And I'll talk to you sort of about when and, and why you might want to do one or the other. Um, but you'll notice I have him maxed on everything, maxed on mag and attack. Um, I have him maxed on Evo, Esper damage, and LB damage, maxed on killers here. Okay, um, He is the primary DPS in this particular clear, uh, so just make sure he's maxed on everything. Obviously, if 
I, I'm only maxing out everything to show you that you know you, you can go kind of either way using either his LB or his um, evocation damage and I'll explain why you might do one as opposed to the other. Uh, 2B is um, another secondary damage dealer. I didn't even bother kind of filling out her killers here um, so I don't think she's capped on everything yet. No she's not even capped uh, on all this stuff so yeah <laughs> she's really just here as a secondary DPS. All right, so just do the best you can on that one. All right, so let's get in here and I'll talk about this real quick and, and how we get this done and why you might do, you know, one of two ways. All right. So like I said, there are basically two ways you can do this first turn kill strategy. You can either use uh, Tyvus's uh, Bray Shifted LB, or you can use his Evocation Damage. And, and there, you know, there um, are pros and cons to both, and there might be reasons why you want to do one or the other. The main reason you would want to use his um, Evocation Damage is if you do not have a full EX3 team. Because if you don't have a full EX3 team, then Kaito is not going to have access to Torrential Downpour. Okay, this is what does the 200% killers to Dragon and Fairy. He will not have access to that because you'll have less than 100% morale to start the battle. Okay, and then, it, so if, if you can't give those killers to Tyvus, then his LB is not going to do nearly as much damage. You still could probably kill, um, but it, it's not going to do nearly as much. So only use his LB, I would say, if you have a full EX3 team and Kaito can do the killer buffs. Now, I'm not going to assume that your team is full EX3, so I'm going to use Tyvus's um, uh, evocation damage for this one, all right? Now, the first thing we're going to do is Fina is going to go ahead and imbue everybody with light, avian killers, and then elemental power light on Tyvus. If you don't have elemental power light, don't worry about it. Just an extra little amp. Um, I think it's instead of like a 35%, it's a 60% uh, amp. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Um, Kaito... Now, if you have Torrential Downpour, use it, but if not, don't worry about it. Uh, crashing Wave to Perfect Dispel, Sun Glitter for the Imperil Field, Deep Submersion just to hit the boss. All right, Dwayne is going to do um, Arcane Supplementation, Double Power Revise again to hit the boss. That may just make sure you get the number of effective attacks. All right, and then Tyvus is gonna do Triple Medine Sferd. I haven't even leveled it up. But this is nice because it does the light imperil, great sword imperil, um, and then you end by capping it up with this lice scare, which does a big hit at the end. It's, it does a considerable amount of damage, enough that it's going to kill the boss for us. All right, Elena does her braces at LB, which is triple bolting strike. Tubi does her LB, which uh, is a tag chaining extreme nova. All right. Um, so let's just go ahead and get this one done. And there's that big hit from Tyvus. It does like 2.2 billion. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. And there you go. We almost hit the damage cap. Um, depending on variants, you might even hit the damage cap or if your team's, you know, stronger or whatever. Um, but this is just this is just for farming or just trying to kill the boss. You don't care so much about the score You just want the clear rewards um, And you wanted to get it done quickly. That's an easy way to do it So yeah, there you see Tyvus doing like, you know, almost 3 billion himself. The boss only has 3 billion HP um, You know, Tubi and, and Elena just kind of pulling up the rear making sure that they get the job done All right um, So that that was my that was the team I used to basically clear all the way up to level 99. Used it to, to do a bit of farming, so I'm pretty much done farming now. Now I'm going to show you how to do this boss um, a little more traditionally if you, if you don't have the strong enough units to uh, kill on the first turn. Um, this is also the team that I'm going to attempt to do a rank 1 with. I haven't fully built it out yet. You'll notice the units aren't even built necessarily for the killers. But it honestly doesn't matter. Um, but this is the team that I'm going to try. Uh, you, you see, it's it's again, it's all um, <laughs> they're all EX3. They don't have to be all EX3. So so honestly, don't don't worry about it if they're not. Uh, this is going to be a three turn clear. 
All right, so we're gonna get this one done in three turns. Uh, and it, we're going with wind element because the boss's main weaknesses are water and wind. So using one of those two will make life a whole lot easier. Um, so I, I'm finally pulling my lightning off the shelf. Um, she's finally getting some use. I, I, I haven't used her in a Clash of Wills since I think the one that she came out for. So yeah, I'm glad to finally get to use her again. Um, but anyways, We'll just go over the gear real quick. It, it's, it doesn't really matter because I haven't even really fully, like, like look, I mean, Esther's not even fully geared here, um, but it, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. Just do the best that you can here, uh, bulking up her defense. Um, Lightning, obviously her STMR, Magister's Ring for Chain Cap. Um, I haven't even filled out her killers. Just use the best vision card you have if yours is not EX3. Um, yeah, 200 Avian, uh, what is it, 300 Dragon, to refer, yeah, okay. Uh, and we will use her normal form LB because it is non elemental. All right, Malfazy is, um, we don't really care so much about her normal form, but in her brave shift form, she's just built for full on mag. Um, I haven't even finished doing her killers, like, I just haven't had time. Um, yeah, she's got 200 avian, uh, 200 dragon, 250 fairy, so she's not even maxed out on killers. That's okay. Um, Kaito's gonna take care of that. Um, yeah, we, we don't care about Kaito's gear. He does have the Empress's Rod in normal form. Um, but yeah, he's not here for damage, so we'll ignore that. Uh, same with Sylvie. We don't, you know, her gear, she can be naked. Doesn't really matter. Um, Chizuru can be naked in normal form, but give her Tyvus the Spirit if you have it. Also, if you have the cool smile card, it works great on her for to boost her LB modifier. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. It's not necessary. Um, and then just bulking, or not bulking. Maxing out her attack here, uh, you can see I haven't even given, she's got machine killers, so she's like still geared from a, a really old fight from a long time ago. Um, so yeah, her killers are atrocious here, but as again, you know, again, you, you're going to see it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay, let's just get in here, do this in three turns, and knock this out. Um, so Esther starts with uh, with a, a physical cover, so we don't need to um, give her any cover. But I'm going to do Storm Guardian just to make sure she doesn't take any um, any more damage than necessary. She's she's going to take nil damage. It's it's really she's going to take almost nothing. Um, Sylvie is going to do Burgeoning Defense, uh, Compassionate Knight, and um, we'll do uh, I don't know Elemental Pebbles, I guess. Um, All right, Kaito is going to do, uh, I'm gonna ignore Torrential Downpour, I'm gonna assume you don't have it. Um, he'll do Crashing Waves, um, uh, Aqueous Infusion, and Deep Submersion. So he's gonna be imbued um, with water. Because um, I think the boss does some, he, does, he has some mechanic where you gotta hit him with like water on a turn or something like that, I don't know, something silly. Okay. And um, all lightning is going to do on this turn. Uh, we'll do whole world is against this. How I live is up to me and blitz lightning. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and have Malphazy come in and do oh, quadruple. Um, she's going to do strong tailwinds if that's right. Yeah, this is the one. That's right. So strong tailwinds for the uh, the wind imbue to everybody. As the crow flies, um, uh, skilled scavengers and murderous mob. All right, um, we'll go ahead and do b -b 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 Hiroshi Blade, Strong Samurai, and let's do Focused Body for the physical mitigation. You could also use the, um, uh, you could also do the, the Mirage stacks as well, but um, this will just show you that, you know, with no mods, the boss doesn't hit very hard. Okay, so let's do, uh, yeah, boom, boom, boom.
Yeah, so there's some uncoverable stuff there. You can use Mirage, or you can just use Mitigations. Um, as you can see, you know, the the boss didn't even chew through the barriers there, so we're uh, we're doing we're doing all right. All right, Sylvie on this turn. All right, we're just gonna shift. I'll do Paladin's Defense for some Mirage. Um, uh, we can do I've Got Your Back just for some like extra morale. Uh, we'll put that on, um, put that on not, not phasey. Um, and then we'll just do Cheerful Paladin for some, uh, some morale fill. Okay, Malphazy's just going to do um, Avian Ranker for the Bird Killer to the party. Um, bah, 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 bah. We'll do a couple of Rapid Pecks. Actually, let's do a uh, Strong Headwinds too, so we get extra morale for that. So Avian Ranker, Strong Headwinds for the morale boost, Rapid Peck, and then end with Fleet Wing Flyers. Alright, Chaziru does Tyvus the Spirit. Uh, lightning can honestly just do whatever. We'll just hit the boss. Alright. Um, Esther can now do her proper cover, provoke, and a shatterbolt. Kaito um, can do torrential downpour because you should have the morale for it at this point, and then double deep submersion. All right, and then we're going to wipe the floor with the boss next turn. <laughs> yep, all that damage converted to healing. Thank you. So now we can get ready to drop the bomb. Let's do it. Okay. All right, Esther will even join in. Just remember she has to go last so you don't overwrite the field. Okay, Sylvie does her brace with LB for the buffs. All right, remember lightning has a huge windup. All right, so we're going to, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send uh, lightning first uh, we're then going to send Chizuru because she tag chains, let her ramp up the chain, um, and then do Malfazi, Kaito, and Esther. Okay? Nope, oh, I missed, uh, missed time to chain there, but that's alright. <laughs> we didn't get the chain score on that one, but no worries. Still killed the boss. Lightning killed the boss before we even started the other chainers. There you go. Yeah, 12 billion. And, and that's not even with a properly geared team. Like, this boss is super squishy. So, uh, with significantly weaker units, you should be able to eradicate this boss fairly simp you know, fairly easily. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that this team will be able to get me a rank one. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I, I'm going to work on that. Um, I'm going to work on that later tonight. Hopefully get a rank one video out to you guys tomorrow at some point. So thank you guys so much for following me, and I will see you on the other side.